from deep inside the belly of Tim Horton's field. Underneath the stands, the Forge Audio Network presents The Captain's Log with Kyle Becker and Mitch Houlihan. Presented by Bench Brewing. Okay, Captain's Log, Season 1, Episode 4. Brought to you by Bench Brewing. Bench Brewing, the beer from wine country. <laughs> Mitch Houlihan here uh, with your Forge captain, Kyle Becker. Hey. Right. Player number 10. Um, hey, I got some facts about Bench Brewing. Let's hear them. It's located in the town of Lincoln. I actually knew that. Yep, it's an independent craft brewery that sits on eight acres of farmland. In the heart of the Niagara Benchlands. Benchlands. Didn't yeah. know that. Um, I actually had an idea for our uh, our commercial. Just there a we go. just a theme idea. Mm-hmm. Three in the front. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for waiting for a second part of that, but this is a it's a PG thirteen podcast, huh? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Three in the front, though. We'll work with it. Yep. You want to explain to the folks what that means? Three sitting three abreast in a truck, or just a Buick, uh, a Saber. Yeah, bench seating, three in the front. Yeah. Um. All right. The first thing. Uh, oh no! Wait. What did I miss here? Oh yeah. Uh, what we're going to be doing today? Just a quick check in before we get back to the studio. We're looking forward to getting back to the studio. So today, the title of the podcast is Captain's Log. Looking back, <laughs> looking forward. <laughs> Pretty neat. Oh, Pretty yeah. neat. This, this damn writer's strike, eh? <laughs> Just blocking us out, guys. <laughs> uh, but yeah, actually looking forward because at this point, it's really just, it's getting disgusting what we're doing to uh, KJ, pushing him. Honestly. We're just big leaguing him every single week, pushing him off, telling him he's coming in, bailing on him. Yeah. So I think he thinks we're doing a bit for sure, huh? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) We'll get him in twenty twenty four. Yeah. So uh, no, looking uh, looking forward to that. We're gonna gonna have a real proper chat with KJ. So once we're back in studio, though, he's not a Zoom guy. No. We need to have have a a real sit down. Yeah. He's got uh, I think his CVs. Too legit for a for a zoomer. Yeah, for sure. All right. Um, anything before we start? What you got? How are you doing? I got a bunch of heaters, buddy. What's going on here? Looks like I'm going through puberty right now. Oh, zits. That's a couple zits. Got to moisturize. Can't be putting the old hair gel on the face like <laughs> <laughs> that. Was clever. Everything's coming together this episode, yeah. but yeah. it's going to be a quick one. All right. Yeah. Uh, since our segment last week from a uh, question from a fan was so uh, popular, we're going to bring it back. Um, so this is our first looking back. This question came in by email from gmax7748 <laughs> at mylaurier.ca. <laughs> Have you ever scored... The first goal in franchise history for a professional team in San Francisco that also won the championship <laughs> soccer bowl in the same year and then immediately folded. If so, can you tell us some of your favorite moments? Also, how does winning a soccer cup compare <laughs> to winning a CPL championship? Lastly, what's your favorite type of Doritos? <laughs> How is that a question and not just a like an actual fact? It's a question. <laughs> Have you ever done it? And it's then- weirdly suspe- <laughs> specific. Yes, I agree. So yeah, the almost like that- this guy knows you. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I know too many Mac D's who went to Laurier, but if I had to guess, uh, yeah, have uh, have scored a the first goal in, in franchise history for, for none other than the, the one and only San Francisco Deltas in the NASL back in 2017. Becker, Cruz running out wide. Here's Tysa as well, flying up the left wing. Tysa, up to Cruz. 
Cruz looking to find a cross. In the box! He scores! Kyle Becker. Sorry to be the Virginia Stevens. Kyle Becker and the Dells is finally on the board in their first ever match. And what a score here in the 31st minute. I'm going to need a couple refreshers on that question because that thing went. That was more of a run on sentence than. Did the team fold? Did the school? Did the team fold immediately after the first championship win? Oh yeah, it was. Uh, we got a nice, we got a nice letter halfway through the season after. So like in that, in that year, the the league was actually split up like a spring season and a fall season, and after the the spring season, we came in second, like almost almost won uh won that i think we lost by three or four points or something like that but it came down to the the last game and then we got like an email or like a he might it might not even be an email it might have been like a tweet the the owner like sent out basically being like state of the union this is it's all going it's all going on (laughs) (laughs) like we need a miracle if this thing's gonna stay along and like it was wild because the way the project was pitched was like this was going to be a, a team that was going to be around for some for a while like we got head coach mark de santos who was bought in he was like bought in on like a multi-year plan um and then it was the craziest tweet ever we should probably find it and post it for this because like he was like throwing trump under the bus as like it was his fault there's all kinds of <laughs> it was it was so random what the tweet and, like announcing it yeah, like there was yeah. all kinds of stuff. Like it was like the political landscape is to blame, all of these things. And then, so we just kept playing and we never knew if we were even going to make it to the end of the year, but we just kept winning. And then the second, uh, like it was kind of one of the, it became like this run on joke of like, we just want to win to make it harder for this guy to, to fold kind of thing. Yeah. And then sure enough, we go the, go the distance, we end up winning the final. And then it was like, yeah, we're not like, yeah, <laughs> even though you, you, guys, did, you guys did that. <laughs> no, it, was ma- it was major league. <laughs> let's wild. let's win out to prove management wrong, and then yeah, he yeah. still folded. Yeah, then they. If you win out. the if you win the so- was it the soccer bowl, or the soccer cup, soccer bowl, buddy. Yeah, soccer bowl, the soccer bowl. Just none other than Pele lifting that thing. Not a big deal. Soccer bowl. How did yeah. that? How does? Oh yeah, that that was another question. How did the soccer bowl and San Francisco deltas? Yeah, for anyone who wants to look it up, legendary team. All the games are on Twitter that year. <laughs> <laughs> with the Remember those commentators. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how does the soccer bowl compare to winning a CPL championship? It was it was different. I think the CPL 2019, like in the inaugural season, was just it was crazy just because it was the whole coming back home, being a part of a uh, Canada's like first professional domestic league. Every single team was like, "Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna be the ones, hundred percent." And then to kind of go the distance, do that, bring it back home in Hamilton. Obviously, we got some great fans, led to a pretty sweet party that first year. I think that kind of tops it. But uh, 2017 yeah. was sweet. It was the first professional trophy I ever won. So that mm-hmm. was special to me. Um, and that was just like a big season for me individually, just kind of like finding, finding my groove back. Obviously, being in Montreal the, the year before and then, then ending up there and just kind of finding my feet again, finding the old love of the game, as they say. And then yeah. just, uh, yeah, it was sweet. Also, like, played with a, a couple guys that, uh, like, Tiso was on that team. So that oh, was yeah, sweet. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So San Fran was, uh, San Fran was, was uh, some good times. Yeah. Um, all right. Was there about 17 other questions, to, parts to that question, or what? <laughs> no, no, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Is there anything else from uh, Delta's ten? Delta's that's the only. Golf. That's the only look back. I think we should probably find if we're going to be talking about Delta's. We have to find the the song like a fan came up with. It's the most outrageous thing for ever. you or the Delta's. No, 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 no. For for the Delta's, but it was oh, like yeah? uh, it was unreal. We're gonna find it. We'll put it into this. We'll embed it. It'll be unreal. There's a lot of good clips and content from the right. Delta's the Delta's years. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was wild. The old uh, changing room in the shipping container. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was the best. When I pulled up, they like told me, oh, like my agent at the time was like, oh, no, it's great. It's the facility you have is sweet, outdoor, like all this stuff, whatever, like the pitch is perfect, all that stuff. It's great. Get there. 
and there was legitimately like a parks and rec department within the <laughs> yeah. thing. It was like a, it was essentially like Pine Glen, and they're like every single day, like no, you guys can't train on the field. And yeah. it's just like these two like grandmas who just love gardening, and they were just up there being like, no, you guys can't be there, working for like the city of San Fran. And then our locker room was a storage container with a solar panel on the roof for energy. And San Fran's the greatest city of all time. Guy, for the first two months, we couldn't use any of the physio, <laughs> physio equipment because it couldn't get charged. It was unbelievable. Oh, yeah. I love how that guy did that. He just took a shot. It was like fire fast. <laughs> like he's, it didn't, didn't end up panning out, but like, I respect I it. I would love to know what he's doing now because I feel like he duped a bunch of people. I mean, it was, yeah, he seemed like a nice guy to me. It was sweet. But, yeah. Uh, du- it was, du- it was wild. Yeah. Duped, but like, if it worked out, it would have been great. Oh, here's another gem of a star from the San Fran locker room. Yeah. So we had a kid who was in school finishing his degree at the time, and he just wanted to be a part of the club legend. So he was our uh, equipment manager. Yeah. And absolute weapon of a human being. But the craziest part is there's obviously no laundry in that storage container. So he had right. to go off site to like a coin op. And he, should, like he was just given like buckets of change at the beginning of the year, like, all right, go do the laundry. <laughs> and he would go do the laundry and like do the school. Like he was the, the greatest human being of all time. Yeah. But somehow in like that first month, because like obviously washing and drying the towels was like the longest part of the process. Yeah. Somehow he spoke to someone on the team who never fessed up to it, who in like a loss of translation, just like not understanding it. Like he assumed the guy was saying like, you don't have to wash the towels. You can just dry them. And we found out. So essentially, this guy for like a month wasn't washing. He was any just of the towels. popping he was the towels in for a just... refresher. And then... <laughs> Meanwhile, it's like the storage container is the muddiest thing ever. People are oh, like, that's like, amazing. And he was just all over the ground. <clears throat> the guy, after training, I washed like my boots with my towel, and he was just popping a couple dryer sheets and just drying them. And then yeah, yeah, a couple of dry sheets, <laughs> and you're good to go. So when that came out, people lost their minds. It was unbelievable. Ah, that's great. Yeah. So that was a good one. All right. Um, yeah, San Fran, good time. What was after that? North Carolina? Yeah. And then Forge. And Forge was- <clears throat> For the timeline. All right. Um, what was that, a look back? Uh, yeah, now we're right. looking forward. Looking forward. Labor Day weekend. Yep. Labor Day weekend? Six point weekend for Hamilton. Need it. Vancouver, right? Any yeah. thoughts? Away to Vancouver. Yeah, I mean, thoughts are we need to put our big boy pants on and get a couple of dubs. That's literally it's as simple as that. All right, so looking forward to the rest of the season. Both, <laughs> both. Uh, <laughs> you didn't like that insight? The Hamilton. <laughs> oh, yeah, all right. It was fun. Uh, yeah, no, looking, looking forward to a big, uh, big performance from both our Hamilton squads. Yep. Labor Day weekend, always great at the box. And they got, uh, Dwayne Gretzky playing the old halftime. Yeah. So that's going to be decent. I feel like the crowd's going to be buzzing for that. Hopefully it's a nice little, little match. Too. I think, are we going to make a little appearance to that? Yeah, for sure. Got it. I, um, I'm, Pretty sure the Gretz should get us on the old stage. <laughs> Just to, by the way, you can do they'll, that. They'll probably see this. Um, is is Dwayne? Do people know Dwayne Gretzky? I don't know. I feel like it's it's hit or miss. But they should. They should. Yeah. It's like I don't know. How would you describe Dwayne Gretzky? A cover band. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> That just plays bangers only. Yeah. All right. They got, so, a, they got a deep catalog though. Yeah. Yeah. That should be good. That'll be exactly. That's like, I think that'll actually be a sick halftime show. It should be the yeah. best. Like they're just yeah. going to play all the, all the greatest bangers from every, everything. So, yeah. um, yeah. Monday, your game Sunday, Tiger cats Monday. Um, this is our last, this is a look back and a look forward. To sign off. We're going to keep this a quick one. Yeah, short and sweet. So the look back, this is actually from the same, uh, the same fan. So we're going to get a, <laughs> we're going to get a, a, a look back from a Labor Day in the past. 
Yeah. Maybe um, from a season that was going a bit better at the time, but a little bit of Labor Day joy from a uh, big time Ticats and Hamilton fan support, more of a supporter than a fan, really. Like fans oh, that, yeah. uh, you know. Fan doesn't do it justice. He, he deserves the, more than that. Deserves way more, wants the best for the lads. So this is the look back. Big Die Cats fan, Labor Day Classic. I want to say 2018, 17. You Weren't you filming it? Yeah. That's <laughs> the <laughs> That's the greatest video of all time. Oh, man. Just Bro. pure joy. Unreal. All right. And then uh, look forward is um, is his prediction for this Labor Day. What's he got for us? 14 beers, two <laughs> sausages, one flyover, 24. Ah, I f***ed it up. 14, <laughs> 14 she beers. Can't even read. G- g- girl. Who want, 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 t- can't even read. T- 14 beers, two sausages, one flyover, 28-24 tie cats. I like that. I think there's Book a it. line of the two sausages, though. Book it. <laughs> that, line, that line's a bit low. <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe you stay lean and mean for the beers. I like the 14 beer shout, though. Yeah. All right. That's all we got, though. You want to sign right. us off? Yeah. Thanks for listening. See you guys next week when we're we're back under the stands, under the bleaches. Captain's Log with Kyle Becker and Mitch Houlihan, presented by Bench Brewing. The guys will drop another episode sometime oh, whenever they get to it. In the meantime, we would love and appreciate for you to like, follow, subscribe, click on the little bell, do all the things in all the places you get entertained, and you'll find more of this type of content. And that also means we get to spend more time together on the Forge Audio Network.